Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. Just watching very closely. As a matter of fact, taking a short right now. Right now at the market. You see that there? Right now. Boom. Done. I actually had to stop sell below that wick, but I wasn't able to click record quick enough. So I thought for the purposes of the illustration here, taking a... Um, a limit order so at the market uh, here or limit at the same level either one works just fine and uh, targeting 45 points here to start I may change that this is a zone reversal trade risking 40 to make 45 here we go zone reversal Copy and paste, boom, and there it is. These are some structural zones I was just sending out to my group, so I'm gonna get rid of them now. I can leave that one down there. That one can go. Put my uh, 20 EMA back on there. This is a, uh, so it's 137 PM. This is coming out of the twilight zone trade. A little bit of volume should start coming back into this market. This is CPI day, so a lot of um, traders would have already acted this morning and may not be doing a whole lot this afternoon. That's just typically, in my experience, the way it works. It doesn't always work that way. But we still should see some kind of a pickup in volume here. And that could take prices higher on this fairly strong day um, or sell them off because we've gone too far, right? Depends. I'm not saying we've gone too far. That could be the mindset of the traders uh, on the margin, right? Or at the margin. So let's see. We'll watch and we'll find out. But right now I am short the Dow here on a zone reversal trade. Let's pull up this daily. Very bullish daily, of course, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six up day six white candles in a row today is tuesday that's monday and then of course friday thursday wednesday tuesday of last week and so here we are again this morning was cpi day All right, so despite this being a bullish candle, it's been an extended move here today, you'll notice that this body is as big or bigger than any other body in this entire extended move. You'll also see that we have a rejection wick at the top, or we have a wick at the top. It doesn't have to be a rejection wick, but it's a wick, and it happens to be lined up with these wicks here that also tried to go higher. Those were white candles, strong white candles at one point, including this one, very strong white candle, turned into a blue candle by the end of the day and uh, and then reversed down. Does that have to happen now? No. But is there a reasonable chance? Yes. And so that's what we are, um, what, what I am counting on or tossing the coin on here is a zone reversion following these rejections here on the 30 minute or the 15 minute. Let's go to the 30 minute. Clean this up a little bit. There it is. I had the 15 minutes. I was illustrating something to somebody I was having uh, um, DMs with, private messages with. Here's the 30 minute chart. We have broken the prior 30 minute candle. And aside from this one right here, that's the only break of a prior candle in the New York session. So this first giant candle was the New York session, right? This is the CPI release. This candle here is a 30 candle. We had a resting candle and then this big move and reversal on the first 30 minute uh, candle. And then a higher high, higher high, higher high, slightly higher high. And then only this one slightly lower low, but then finished very strong, taking out the prior candles high. It also took two candles before high out and three candles before high out. Doesn't sound like good grammar, does it? But then a higher high, a higher high, and now a lower high, 
and for now, a blue body candle having tapped into this rejection zone, right? Or resistance zone. If this price, if prices drop down, we'll see that it was a rejection zone, but we'll know that after the fact. I'll put you on pause for now, guys, and I will bring you back. And we're back, guys. A little bit of time has passed here, quite a few minutes, actually. This is a uh, three-minute chart on the right-hand side. You see we're finally driving down. The trade idea is very much intact. Looking for those uh, those 45 points here. Zone reversal trade, as I mentioned. Being patient now. This is my fifth trade of the day. So far today, my last one, well, the last trade I took was a Dow short as well. And the trade before that was a Dow long. The trade before that was a gold short in the UK session. And then much earlier than that, around 5 a.m. I think it was, my New York time was a, NAS, a NASDAQ short. So we've been all over the map here today. Keep them busy. I was up really early today, so I figured I'll, I'll be there at the market and uh, see what opportunities come up. Tightening stop now, guys, from 1R to 0.5R. It was 40 points. It's now 20 points. So half an R multiple. Hopefully most of you are familiar with our, our values and our multiples. Looking for this thing to, to go lower here. I'll put you on pause for now, guys, and I will bring you back. All right, price is moving back up here again a little bit, taking away those wonderful profits that we had or that I had in this trade. We're back to break even almost here. Me watching this closely. I'm going to manage this. Let's move down to the one minute chart here, guys, so we can really see the micro movements. I want to see what uh, what this has in store here. I might have to do some fancy footwork in here, here to protect to protect the capital. We'll see. I am watching at all times, of course, the three sisters. Looking for synchronicity, equilibrium, disequilibrium, relative strength, all that good stuff. The three are very much in sync now at this point. Which we did not see for a good portion of the session.
fight up with John Boss for now. And trying to push down again. We'll keep posted and I'll bring you back. Trying to make a new low here, right there. See the, <laughs> it's exactly on the line right now. Let's see if we can poke through. Looking for a big 45 points on this one. I think we're asking too much at this time of day. It's possible. I mean, that bullish uh, daily candle is saying going up, right? think this one through we can do that together in other words I'll share my thinking with you here I mean the, the cleanup uh, the, the setup on the um, on the 30 minutes quite clean I do like that in this with this clean action here with this white candle you see this here on the right hand side the left hand side and another clean candle behind another clean body behind it and so on and that's usually, uh, that bodes fairly well for this type of a thing. But there could absolutely be some fresh buying coming in here in the afternoon as these participants come back from lunch in North America. Of course, all of Europe is closed now and has been for about three hours. 11.30, the UK stock market closes and it's now 2.10. In 30 seconds, it'll be 2.10. This is all North American driven, and of course, the international and global uh, futures players. And there are some for sure. Much of the world, though, is heading uh, is either in bed or headed to bed. Certainly having dinner. All right, we got a new low here, guys. Not a very convincing one, but it's new. It's low. Here we go. Maybe we can take this thing out. There comes the push. You just have to be patient sometimes. One more. Beautiful. We're done, guys. Fifth trade of the day. It's been a very successful day. Being very, very choosy on my setups, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Optimal setups only. You'll dramatically increase your win rate if that's important to you. Uh, but also keep your, your um, equity curve looking nice and smooth. Thanks for being here. Thank you for clicking the like button. Uh, I'm thanking you in advance, obviously. I don't know that you're going to. But if you remotely enjoyed this or think it's valuable to others, if you can just click that button and say hi in the comments if you don't mind. Love to meet you at least digitally. Have an amazing day and an amazing rest of the week. Take care now. Bye-bye.